Hello, hello, it's Bobby from Dig Coding here and this is the third video in the building and launching a real Django website series on my YouTube channel, Dig Coding. Now, uh, the link to the last video is here and if you've been following along, what we're doing is we're building a web app all the way from blank canvas to launching it on a server for the world to see and we're going through every single step. Now, the first step was setting up the project, fiddling around with a settings.py file and the URL comp file and video two, which was the link up there a moment ago, that was us adding another tier of security to the built-in admin page that Django comes with. So now when we log into our admin panel, we have to add a one-time six-digit password that is generated from a third-party app such as Google Authenticate. So this is video three, and in today's video, we are going to start building out some models so that we can add them to our admin panel and start creating objects. So this web app, the idea of it is for me to showcase my YouTube channel. So I want a way of logging uh, every video that I have on YouTube in my website. So I'm going to do that by building a model called Media. And in that model, I'll be able to uh, uh, create objects that will have the URL link to the YouTube video itself and the thumbnail image. So in this tutorial, we will be using a library called Pillow which handles images in the back end. So first things th first, we need to load up a CMD, which I already have, and I've already fired up the virtual environment did demo. Uh, so we want to now pip install a package called Pillow, P as a capital P, I L L O W. And when that's installed, we then want to put that across to our requirements folder that we normally do, requirements uh, file, should I say. So pip freeze, point that to requirements.txt. Great, if we go in a file now, it should now have pillow. Great, it has. So if we open up the main app, which we set up in the first video, and open up models, it's in this file where we will make a list of all the classes, models that we want in our app. So we've just import, sorry, we've just installed Pillow. So in here we want to say from Pill, all capitals, import image. And that's a capital as well. That's all we need to import at this stage. Um, as we grow this app, we will need to import other bits and pieces as well, but at this stage, just that. And we want to um, define a class here, and I'm going to call it media. And in here you have models, so we're, we're, we've imported models from django.db, and we want model. And what I normally do in these models is I normally then have a meta class and I state the uh, pluralization of the name of the, the class itself. So we have class meta and this is verbosity or verbose name plural. If you don't have this, when you go into the admin page, that will say medias, and I want media to be in there, so it's no big deal, but I like to have it in there. And what we'll have is, we're currently using a database in the settings file, which is very lightweight, it's SQLite 3, and um, it won't allow you to have certain fields in. When we expand on that database and use PostgreSQL, we can start having um, URL fields and uh, things like that. So uh, we will have a timestamp in here, but it won't allow us to have the auto add now equals true, which is a stamp that automatically creates that field with a date timestamp of when the object was created. But we'll have the field anyway, and we'll expand on it when we're in video. I think it's video 10 we're looking at the database. So timestamp equals this models, and this is a date time field. And then we want an image, which is models.image field. And remember in, in video one, we were talking about um, static and media files. And we set up our settings file and the URL file with how we're gonna manage those files as and when they're put into the project. This, uh, how we 
set up this field will um, ultimately define where we add the images to the project. So we want these to be uploaded to that upload, now it's upload to equals, and this will be media image. So as we create an object and add an image to that object, it will be saved in a directory called media image within the media directory in the project. Okay, that's how that works. And then lastly, we'll have one called URL. This is models.url field and we'll have that so it has to be completed. And that's that. That is our media class or media model. So now what we need to do, we need to register that model into our admin panel. Now we will do this. I will show you how to do it the traditional way and then I'll also show you how to do it um, using the new backend that we just built. So you, if we go into admin.py, all we would need to do is normally is we would do admin dot register and we would have we would bring in media and above that we'd want to do uh, from dot models import media that would register that model into the traditional admin page however we have got a um, bespoke high security backend now so we need to register it in a slightly different way so we'll keep that in there because um, if we want to reactivate the old out of the box Django admin page, we've got it there. So we just registered that media, although it won't have any um, list display to select the fields that we want to see in the model itself, it will still be registered. So if we go back to the did demo directory and open up URLs, this is where we define the admin site. So what we want to do is go from uh, we'll go dot main import models. So we're bringing in all the models from our main app. We then want to, what we'll do is we'll, um, we will change the admin. So how the admin page looks when we log in so that we can actually define what fields we're looking at. And to do that, what we need to do is define a class called media. Yeah, this would be media. No, it'd be class. Sorry, class, and this will be media admin. And this will be taken in admin dot model. I think it's model admin. I'll just double check. It is model admin. And then you can define a, uh, a variable here and it's called list display. And it's in this, which and it's a tuple. And it's in this tuple where you define what um, uh, fields that you wanna see. So we'll just keep it with ID for now. We can expand on that later. So now what we do is we just register admin site dot register and it will be um, main dot media and then we also want to bring in media admin I think that will work so we've now built a model we've registered the model into the at the traditional admin page and now registered it into the admin site which is the one with um, the one-time password so now what we need to do is we need to make migrations. So let's just see if I've done something wrong. Manage.py make migrations. That doesn't look like it's working. No, it doesn't like that. Uh, it's because I've got a typo. Is it E? Let's try that again. So I just realized what I've done. So it, what I needed was from main import models as main. Let's try that. There we go, that now works. And then if we go with 
Python manage.py, and if we now migrate and fire up a server, so run server, and then we'll open up a browser and go incognito and localhost forward slash and we'll go admin which should be the okay this is the right admin page so bobby at didcoding.com password is the one we've set up when we created the super user and the one time password is 080404 and there we have it right so this is the this is main that is the uh, app that we've got and we've registered media so this, this is what exactly what we were expecting so we click on media you can see there's no objects currently uh, we can add a timestamp now and now so I'm filming this on the 8th of April and if we choose an image Uh, let's go with let's go with that one and if we just put so HTTPS and if we save this with any luck please correct the error below enter a valid URL Oh, right, it's a URL field, obviously. Uh, let's go with... Ask me for another image, typical. Let's go with number three, which should be the thumb. Safe. Wonderful, there we are. So we have now created a model. We've registered it into two different admin pages. And we've then gone into the admin page and created a new object. You can see here that it's only displaying ID. That is because in the Sublime text, in my text editor, you can see that what we've done, we've only asked to display ID. So if I was to go here and add URL and save, if I now update my browser, it should show the URL. So there we have it. That is how we create models, register models, and manipulate them. So you use CRUD, so you can create, read, update, and delete objects in the back end using Django. So that's the end of this video. Please subscribe and please like, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.